Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim. It's been a while since I've uttered those words on this channel, hasn't it? My goodness. It is... Maundus, 9.32am, the 18th of Last Seed. Uh, quite exactly what year it is, I'm actually a little unclear about, and so is Fathis at this point. Best he knows is it's a Maundus, and some time has passed since last he was on Nern. He's just had his breakfast, actually. We're in the Bannered Mare. We're in the upstairs of the Bannered Mare at the moment because, uh... Make it quick. Whoa, no okay, questions. okay, that wasn't part of the plan. Um, these barriers are just clearly not up to code. Uh, that's, that was... We're off to a good start today, aren't we, clearly? If I can just hop onto this and then... No, you can't actually get back through this, can you? Once you've fallen out of it, it's basically impossible. All right, let's just pretend we went down the stairs. <laughs> what is it? Fantastic. I'm almost almost tempted to start recording the episode again from scratch now, but I'm not going to because, uh, you know, as much as I it? try to create an immersive experience with these videos, sometimes you just got to leave the stupid stuff in because I play this game like everybody else at the end of the day. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it's, it's JK's Bannered Mare, so it's, uh, you know, it's expanded and whatnot. It's got an upstairs now, and I believe it has a downstairs too, as in a cellar. Anyway, good morning, White Run. So on our agenda for today is um, bugging enough to Bleak Falls Barrow to uh, retrieve the Dragonstone for uh, Farangar up at the uh, up at the up at the Great Hall there. Um, mostly because uh, anything else? Visit the College of Winterhold, join the Stormcloak Rebellion. Oh my goodness! It, bask, ladies and gentlemen, bask in the glory that is this miscellaneous tab that is almost empty. Never shall we see its like again. Um, yeah, we're going to go fetch that dragonstone for apparently a, what we hope will be a rather nice reward. One that will pay our way back to Morrowind because at the moment Fathers' chief goal in life is to get his ass back to Morrowind, back to Tel Uvarith, back where he belongs with House Telvani doing House Talvani things, where all of his magical equipment is kept, his large, what large fortune of cash, all the rest of it. It's all back in Morrowind, and that's where he wants to get to. Unfortunately, at the moment, however, he uh, has nine gold coins to his name. After paying for dinner, breakfast, and a room for the night, he's been left a little destitute. So, um, buggering off to fetch this stupid little stone... For Farangar, seems like easy money as far as he's concerned. Delve into a dangerous ruin and blah blah. Been there, done that. Got the proverbial t-shirt. Yes, I know nobody else in Tamriel knows what a t-shirt is. The thing about becoming a god is sometimes you find interesting things like that. Like what a t-shirt is. I've seen things you wouldn't believe. None of these people would believe, and that's why I should probably never, ever, ever mention anything about it to any of them. Who the devil is this? Oh, it's one of the guards on his way to Riverwood. Out of curiosity, let's find out how much it would cost to uh, get us to... to Windhelm, since that's probably going to be the easiest way back to Morrowind. Uh, where's the guy? Here he is. Nader, I can take you to any of the hold capitals. Mm, what do you know about Whiterun? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Mains and the Battleborns. You'll want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mare or the Castle Stewart. I see. Um, how much would your carriage cost? Where do you want to go? Uh, it would cost us twin only 20 gold to go to Windhelm, curiously enough. 50 if we wanted to go to Winterhold. Alright. Good day. Um, right. We've got some food. So we're not going to go hungry for the rest of the day, I hope. However... I was going to say something, and it's completely gone. It's disappeared from my head entirely. I'm going slowly senile at the ripe old age of 31. 
How the devil did she get up there so fast? I could have sworn I saw her leaving just earlier. Very strange. Who's this fellow they've got with them? She's giving me the evil eye at the moment, isn't she? I should probably keep walking. Don't want to cause trouble with the local authorities just yet, anyway. Ah, the scene of some of our previous handiwork. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm going to do any blacksmithing with Fathos. It was never something he really did, obviously, in Morrowind, because blacksmithing wasn't a thing. He didn't even have the armorer skill, after all, so... Um, I think we can safely... Uh, Ignore the whole uh, crafting blacksmithing thing in this playthrough. For better or worse. That is very picturesque now, isn't it? Very picturesque indeed. Worthy of a screenshot, in fact, I think. Um, now then. Here's the path that leads up to Bleak Falls Barrow. find out what awaits us up there. Oh, I remembered what it was I was going to say earlier. Yes, um, I noticed there were no subtitles with the, uh, with the carriage driver. I have fixed that now. When I- Whoa! Bad dog. Uh, when I- when I launched Skyrim earlier today to continue recording, um, it did that annoying thing where it opens the launcher and resets all your settings to default. Uh, so, um, yes, it buggered up all my gameplay settings, including the dialogue, uh, subtitles. So, apologies for that. It's fixed now. A wee bit peckish. Seeing the old, uh, fatigue bar getting capped off there. Weirdly, bread and, like, raw vegetables restores almost no, um hunger at all. And oddly enough, this Idar cheese restores a zero hunger. It just restores two points of health. Obviously a mod conflict there of some sort. I guess I'll eat it anyway. And this apple, there we go. Still not quite sweet roll. I think we're good now. Fathis ate basically nothing for all of yesterday, so um, I think his hunger bar is a little bit on the fritz. I could probably do with eating another because I think I think uh, your hunger will go above like the end of the end of the bar there. So I think if I were to eat another like this venison chop right now, that probably sort us out for quite a long time. I would I would imagine. Let's find out. I suppose. Let's say Fath has stopped for lunch on the way up the uh, up the up the path here. Now it's getting rather chilly. I do generally like the built-in survival mode from Anniversary Edition, though. I, I, I sort of I find it the least intrusive option as as sort of basic needs mods go compared to Frostfall and, and whatnot. Certainly, Frost, Frostfall used to drive me bloody mad back in the old Claudius Let's Play back in the day. I right, say hello there. You look like bandits to me. I'd recognise them in any century. I don't suppose you're just going to let me pass, are you? I'm not interested in you. I've got to get up to this blasted barrow to find a stone. That's right. You just keep staring and I'll keep walking. You picked a bad time. All right. Big mistake, friend. Where's the other one gone? Oh, that's just not on. Got him as well. Excellent. It is getting a bit chilly, isn't it? Uh, now would be probably be a good time to put that hood on. Okay. Bit of looting. Oh yes, bows. We won't be doing any of that malarkey. I think I already mentioned that in episode one. No, no, no marksmanship with Fathis. A cape, though. That's something. It'll keep us warm a little bit. Probably clip through my outfit horribly, though, won't it? Oh yes, absolutely. Look, it's a good thing we're going to be spending a lot of time in first person view. <laughs> oh dear. I'll have to replace it with one that looks slightly less dodgy in the future. Let's search this 
place while we're here, shall we? Anybody else lurking about? Anyone else want a piece of faffy Sullivan? Sacks of flour. Actually would be useful for baking, I think, but um, I'm, I'm not sure. I struggle to imagine Fath is doing any baking, really. I just... <laughs> There's some salt for cooking other stuff, though. I just I just don't quite see it happening. He used to have a cook called Salmima back in Tel Uvareth who did any of that baking malarkey for him, so... Card of Fortune 2. Value 200. Seems to have a picture on it. Fascinating. You have found a fate card. These cards are grouped into decks of 13 cards of the same type. When you possess at least one of each card of the type and use any of the cards from that set in your inventory, one of each card of that set will combine to form a deck which will provide special power, skills, and abilities while it's carried in your inventory. Fascinating. For some reason, I believe this card is vaguely magical. Don't know why, I just sort of get a weird tingly feeling when I hold it. I should probably look out for more of them. Well, my health's not looking very, uh, you know, healthy, is it? I'm still with this stupid barbarian armor, aren't we? Haven't we? I should probably sell it, but I'm just going to get rid of it on principle. Stupid, ridiculous outfit. Um, let's have a potion. That does clip rather horrifically, doesn't it? <laughs> Dear. Problem is, um, I think this, this mage outfit clips with an awful lot of cloaks and things. I hope I remembered to install Winter is Coming. The one with the fluffy furry cloaks. Oh, I bet you I forgot. I bet you anything I forgot. I, 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 I knew there had to be something. I'll have to fix that at my earliest opportunity. I have to admit, now I think about it, in all my testing, I never came across one of those... Uh, bear skin or wolf skin cloaks, because those are the ones that would actually work with this outfit, I think. Oh, I'll have to install it, and then I'll have to run all the compatibility patches again as well. Oh! More bandits want to see him. Where did you come from, you big brutes? There we go. Light steps, Fathers. Light steps. It's been a while you're out of practice. Light steps. Tread softly, you big glute. You never know who might be lurking around here. Oh! Gentleman with a bow and arrow, for example. Oh, our oh, well, first death of the Let's Play. Yes, tread lightly. The nine divines know who might be waiting up there. Oh, I can see one already. Another one of those bandits lurking about. Well, if one had to bet, one would probably bet the entrance is over there in the mountainside. So let's see if I can sneak up this way instead of going up the stairs. I might be playing on Adept instead of Expert, but we should obviously still be careful. I'm still just a level one character. Oh, sneak increased, hurrah. I don't know how much sneaking we're going to do in this last play. I mentioned before I wasn't sure. For the main reason that I, I do plan to get some NPC followers in this playthrough. And NPC followers always make sneaking virtually impossible, so. Hello there. Where's he off to? Oh dear. Oh. I knew you. 
Slowly does it. Watch out for that orc with the big hammer I glimpsed earlier. Yes, that fellow. I'm beginning to wonder if this dagger is going to cut it. Pun obviously not intended. Perhaps this might do the job a little better. Well, on the other hand... Let's uh, hotkey these, shall we? Right then. In we go. Nice and quiet. Okie dokie. The air is warm here. Oh, that's good. Notice my health bar getting a little smaller. Presumably, ugh, more alchemy ingredients. Presumably, our health hasn't been regenerating lately because we were cold. Or not, maybe actually. I do like that being cold makes it harder to like uh, lock pick and pickpocket though, because your fingers are freezing. It, it makes sense. I I, kinda, I like it. I have to admit. This cloak looks a little bit more slightly less less bad when it comes to flipping through stuff. Right, apparently we just overheard those guys talking about some sort of golden claw. Pretend that actually happened because I didn't hear them. I was too busy talking. just leveled up ladies and gentlemen although I don't think we can actually level up until we sleep in a bed Morrowind style thanks to the survival mode that's that's what that features from in case you were curious this is difficult ah this is where the instinctive stealth archer in all of us just wants to whip out the bow and go thwack and take one of them out straight away not so easy for us though could sneak up and try and take one out with the dagger, but probably not without the other noticing. The question is, do I want to just jump the gun and go in there all sparks blazing? Or do I want to sit here and wait for, to see if they move? I think I might sit and wait and see if they move. Okay, I moved about a bit in the hopes that they might hear something and go off to investigate. But don't... Oh dear. All right, there we go. That solves that problem. And they weren't doing anything. They were just standing there next to the fire doing sweet FA. So I decided I'd uh, make a bit of noise to see if anything happened. This game desperately needs the ability to just pick something up and chuck it and have them go wander off to investigate it. It's such a basic stealth mechanic, but it's curiously absent from this game. Uh, hmm. Studied armor tempting, but no. I have to say, these uh, mage's robes are relatively warm for the cold Skyrim weather, but on the other hand, they're so tight-fitting that I can't get any armor on under them. Which disagreeable arrangement. Oh, well, no, a painting is worth a thousand. No, it's worth 500. Value to weight ratio is a thousand. Hello there. Let's see if we can get this open. It's only not this side. So. Ah, more of these strange cards. Card of Mystics and Card of Shadows. Oh, I did not mean to actually... There we go. Alright then. No more Axe and an Iron Shield. Don't really fancy either of them. A 
this place certainly is rather ancient. Though it's clear to me the Nords don't keep very good care of their tombs compared to the Dunma. I mean, look at all this. There's vines and roots everywhere. Most untidy. It's very dark down here as well, isn't it? My goodness. If you're wondering how on earth I can see anything, the answer is I kind of can't, really. So far, so good-ish. Linen wraps. I'm trying to think if I need those for anything, but I don't think so. I think you might be able to craft cloaks with them, technically, but... I don't intend to do that. Oh, hello there. My unsuspecting friend. What is he doing? Where is he going? He's going to push that lever. <laughs> well now. That seems a rather obvious trap, but not uh, obvious enough for this fellow, I suppose. A torch, that'll be handy. Until I can get some sort of light spell, anyway. Alright, what have we here? Obviously, this lever is supposed to open this gate, but uh, at the moment it's just shooting poison darts everywhere. Let's see if one can attempt to demonstrate the problem. Oh, need to give it a bit further push than that. Yes. Ooh, they shoot out of the back wall, too. Most ingenious. Well, let's see. What are these things? They, uh. Ah, uh, yes, they seem to spin around. And, uh. Let's see, we have a snake, we have some sort of fish or whale or something, and we have a. a another snake. Down here, on the floor. Oh, uh, I see. Well, nobody ever accused bandits of being particularly clever. There we go. Let's see what's up here first before I go any further. Someone will scream at me. Ah, you forgot to loot the thing. There's a potion up there, you stupid idiot. Let's play her. What are you doing? Playing the game suboptimally. And it offends me personally that you are doing so. Pickpocket increased. Fathis never did a lot of pickpocketing in the Moira and Let's Play, but then there's never much of a reason to do it. Of course, pickpocketing was rolled into the sneak skill in, uh, in Morrowind, I'm fairly sure. And his sneak skill was okay, so he probably could have gotten away with a bit of pickpocketing if the, if the need arose, but... Uh, I don't know if we'll do it in this either, really. It's sort of one of those game mechanics that I'm sort of happy exists. But I never really use. Oh. Goodness! Ah. What are these things, anyway? They seem to be some sort of cross between a rat and a badger. I do not appreciate their presence here. Scroll of Fireball. Oh no, that could be handy, along with that poison. Is, is someone coming? Is that you, Hartnir? Bjorn? Soling? Hello, who do we have in here? Needs help, does he? Help with what? Exactly. Oh. A suspicion is beginning to form. Good grief. Well, now that is a rather large brute. 
There's this fellow. He's stuck in the webs Get over there. Get it away. Uh, Is there are scrolls kept in the magic menu if they're kept anywhere at all. There we go. All right, here we go. Oh, that's quite a lethal poison. Ow. Bloody get me. I don't know why I'm not getting any sound effects for drinking potions right now. That's very weird. Get it away from me. Get it away. Ah, get it. Get it. There we go, you big beastie. Get you down, eh? And why would I go and do a thing like that? Over here. You did it. You killed it. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's this golden claw I heard people talking about? Yes, the claw. I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Hand over the claw first, you idiot. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. I think you can move just about enough. I'm watching you. Don't you dare move. It's coming loose. I can feel it. Now hand it over. Oh, no you don't. Fool, is it? Right back at you. Hello there. What do we have here? Well, it's a golden claw, precisely as advertised. It's got some of those funny little symbols on it as well. Uh, anything else worth taking? Journal, marbles. Oh, here we go. Let's have a little read through, shall we? My fingers are trembling, the golden claw is finally in my hands, and with it the power of the ancient Nordic heroes, that fool Luke and Valerius had no idea that his favourite store decoration was actually the key to Bleak Falls Barrow. Now I just need to get the Hall of Stories and unlock the door. The legend says there's a test that the Nords put in place to keep the unworthy away, but that when you have the golden claw, the solution is in the palm of your hands. I suppose that probably refers to the little symbols on the damned thing. Mm-hmm. Stupid idiot probably would have never figured it out anyway if he's anything like his friend upstairs. Right, let's slip back into sleep mode. Oh, sleep mode? <laughs> Sneak mode, even. Not that I wouldn't mind a good nap right about now. What have we here? Oh, this reminds me an awfully lot of that time I went to Saltheim. It's a barrow, isn't it? Just like the old ones. Don't see any stone about the place. Not that I could do anything about it unless I had one of those fancy pickaxes. Least peculiar. Much more civilized to just burn the things, honestly. Curious to see how far I can get before one of them inevitably wakes up at the moment. Oh, there's a pressure plate for this, not at all obvious swingy, spiky death thing. Lighting in here is very impressive, even if it is a bit dingy. Ah, 
Now, Fafus is familiar with Draugr, or at least a version of Draugr. He encountered them when he went to Solfsheim in the Morrowind LP. But those Draugr didn't tend to lie dormant and then wake up when you walked on by. So that'll be new behavior to him. Having flashbacks to the clockwork city all over again. Oh boy. Ah! Ooh. Thankfully, not as lethal as the axes in the clockwork city. I could pull this chain, but you know what? I'm going to leave that running just in case somebody's following me. Do, am I? Is my health not regenerating at all? It feels like it isn't. It's under side effect of one of the mods I have installed. Is that working as intended? Or, uh... I'm 30% less effective at sneaking while I'm peckish. That's interesting. I wonder what the rationale for that's supposed to be, but I suppose I'd better make sure that, uh... We're well fed while we're trying to do any stealth. Is my health regenerating? It feels like it's definitely not. Oop, didn't mean to do that. I feel like there's obviously a mod that's stopping it from regenerating, but uh... I wouldn't remember which one it is. I've installed so many damnable, damnable mods at this point, I don't remember which one might be causing that. Unless, hold on a minute. How's my health looking up there? I've noticed the health bar's disappeared. So. Maybe it is regenerating very slowly. This one in here standing up. This one as well. How peculiar. Rather unsettling, too. Training up our sneak skill magnificently here, aren't we? I didn't know it was possible to get this far without waking any of them up, actually. I've never tried this before. Well, all right, then. has to wonder who's been keeping these land, land, these candles and whatnot lit. I suppose canonically it's the Draugr themselves, right? There's a book that talks about how they march about the place, sort of maintaining it and uh, keeping the keeping the candles lit and what have you while, uh, while no one else is around. They sort of re spontaneously reanimate and go around to sort of tidy up a bit. I forget what the name of the book actually was, but it's one of the in-game books you can read. An amusing little nod, frankly, to the fact that uh, <laughs> ancient ruins and video games always seem to have lit torches. By the nine sodding divines. This one's awake. Yes, even more flashbacks to solve Sam. I'd better get out of his way. I wonder 
if it sensed my presence somehow. If you would just hold still like that a little bit longer. This is going to go terribly, I can just tell. Oh dear. <laughs> well, we're not going to be able to one-shot him with a sneak attack, at least not with the dagger. We might have to abandon daggers as a concept unless they have a fancy perk that increases backstab, that, 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 that. backstab damage. Uh-oh. How has he not seen me? Good grief. Oh dear. Hello! <laughs> Okay. I see this is going to uh, prove difficult. He's level six, I'm level one. I suppose it makes sense. Oh, God, that was close. Oh my word! Hello. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna need some uh, paralysis poison. Didn't work on him. Oh, lovely. Well, that was bloody close. Tenacious old bastard, wasn't he? I suppose I can relate in a weird sort of way. What were you guarding, my friend? Not a lot. However, this would appear to be the way forwards. Mushrooms. I don't remember if they're useful for anything, but we're going to grab them anyway. And at one, one point or another, Fathers is going to have to sit down, bite the bullet, and actually sample some of these alchemical ingredients to find out what the devil they do. Ah, there we go. Let's have some of these. Yeah. Ah, another scroll of fireball. Ah, oh, hello there. There's another one that seems to be awake. I wonder if I can try and slide on down here without him noticing. There we go, quick as asparagus. Down to the bottom we go, and onwards. Progress. I managed to get through this entire dungeon without only killing, only killing a single Draugr so far. It's amazing. Although I have to imagine this guy is going to change that. It seems the further I get in, the more of them that are actually awake. Most curious. something. Carefully does it. And the side. I'm drained. Does that mean I'm tired? Yes. What time is it actually? Out of curiosity. 
It's 8 p.m. Goodness me. Yeah. Okay. I haven't actually edited the time scale in the game. That's probably something I ought to do. Might explain why I seem to have to eat and whatnot so often. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. All right then. Come on. You big ugly brute. It's nap time, my friend. Time for you to go back to sleep. Thank you. No, large warhammers are not our style, unless that large warhammer's name is Sunder. Ah, oh, this mod actually works then. I've been looking for, I've been waiting for ages to find a lock that would actually be different. I got this mod that changes what the locks look like on the lock picking screen, depending on what you're picking open. And uh, there you go, we finally found one that works. That was weirdly difficult to test, because everywhere I went in the game during my mod testing, every lock was just the vanilla one, so. Right, anyway. What are these things supposed to be, anyway? Are they birds? They look rather like birds to me, but I was they meant to be dragons or something. I can judge at least from the uh, wooden dragon heads outside White Run, the Nords over the last few thousand years have gotten a bit better at carving. Ah, that would be the sound of more swinging axes, if I'm not mistaken. Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay. Ah! Ow. Ah, oh, uh, spatial awareness fail. I suppose you meant to just sprint through the lot, aren't you, really? Maybe it's easy to do if you go sideways like a crab. <laughs> Not really. Yeah, if you get if you step even one inch too far, you get nicked by the damn thing. Ow. Probably wasn't worth all the damn. Uh oh. <sighs> Potions I used. Just a stop. Piss and blood. Oh. <laughs> damn it! Damn it all! Damn it all! Damn it all! Alright, okay, I've had my potions refunded then at least. Oh. Which, which button is it to sprint? It's alt, isn't it? Alright. Quickly, quickly away from the waking Gorga. Waving his sword around. He's not entirely sure why he's up this early. Something strange going on. I didn't set the alarm. Oh, there's another one up there. They're going to be impossible to sneak past, aren't they, this lot? He hasn't seen me somehow. Right, let's just remain very, very still. Oh, so now he wants to stay still. Perfect. Just grand. Oh, oh, here we go. On. What 
Well, at least my sneak's increasing. Seems I was detected for a brief moment there, but now I'm not. Oh, crumbs. You here, give me that. Now farting around with daggers, it's clearly not working out. We're gonna try this instead. There's that other one gone, there he is. Ah, a Draugr of the Restless variety. Oh, that did the trick. Only lens flares, J.J. Abrams. All right then. Let's see. Let's continue this way. You need to throw stealth to the wind here because it's starting to feel like it's not really worth it. Oh, hello. What have we here? Did you mention something called a hall of stories? Because this feels rather like it. Oh, that looks like Kindredeth to me. I don't recognize it anywhere. Who's this fellow with the two staffs? Not quite so clear on that. And you? Hmm. You have a bit of an Akatoshish look about you. You, on the other hand, I haven't got a damned clue with the two daggers and all the flames. Perhaps some sort of ancient forgotten deity. All right then. Bum -ba -bum -bum -bum. Let's see. Let's have a look at you. Let's see. What are the three symbols of bear? Some sort of moth or something, and an owl. Very good. In it goes. Very simple. Rather impressive bit of machinery when you get down to it. Impressive for Nords, anyway. It's not exactly up to Dwemer standards, but you know. Is there anything over here? Nope. Of course, we have the big main chamber. Which looks very impressive. What's that peculiar sound? It sounds like someone's chanting. Oh! Vivex toenails. That's peculiar. What's all this then? Force. Unrelenting force. Force, it means force. I'm not quite entirely sure how I know that, I just know that it means force. How odd. Perhaps it's in one of those old books I read so long ago. I had quite a collection. The 
This fellow's going to be difficult, isn't he? You seem to be able to keep him at a distance for now. It's peculiar trick he's using, though. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Some form of telekinesis. The fact that we're tired is not helping with the magicka regen right now. Uh, did I just... Oh, we've been knocked over. I was going to say, did we actually just get killed by an enemy force then? Well, in a roundabout sort of way, yes, we did. Um, there we go. I was just waiting for it. Uh, oh, oh, it's stuck on the train and I'm trying to jump onto it. That's not good. It does do a bit of damage, doesn't it? Yeah, I couldn't tell you why. I'm not getting any sound effects from drinking potions. That is a bit strange. Come on. There we go. Aha! Assumes this is the dragon stone that was being searched for. Seems to be some sort of map. And looks like Skyrim to me. Well. Not what we came for. Oh, hello. Magical, eh? I'll have that. Probably not going to actually use it, but I probably am going to disenchant it. Fathers didn't do a lot of enchanting in the, uh... In the Morrowind LP, because he pretty much just got other people to do that for him. But you can't really do that in Skyrim, so he's going to have to learn to enchant for himself. Alright then, out we go. Ah, another strange card. Don't mind if I do. Thank you very much. Lens flare is very aggressive, isn't it? Deary me. It's, it's, again, I think it's a mod thing because I've got lens flares, like the the regular lens flares, turned off in the uh, in the launcher options. All right then, it's the middle of the night, it's rather cloudy, it's quite cold, and uh, there doesn't appear to be a particularly easy way of getting down here. Oh, hello, potion of the defender. Someone carelessly left that lying around. All right, once again, Fathus, come on, let's do the mountain goat thing. Mm -hmm. 